Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Priya and Priya's Kitchen. Sorry I've been missing in action for the last few days. I have been posting, um, just didn't have a time to, you know, hang out with you guys. But I'm excited to be on tonight. I am making literally a soccer mom meal tonight. Like, no joke. Um, long days like usual, I'm sure like everyone else. So, I literally have like rotisserie chicken. Like, I'm going to make a chicken salad. It's called Chicken Bernie. It's got some really um, interesting flavors and stuff going on and I'll show you. And also be doing a tuna melt, right? So I love tuna and there's nothing like a tuna melt. So a super simple dinner tonight. Um, hey, Nisa. Uh, so something super simple, super quick, definitely soccer mom food, um, you know, for dinner. And it could be lunch, it could be brunch, it could be dinner, it could be anything you want it to be. So. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it and you'll make it and share it like usual so first um, and literally like I have rotisserie chicken that I already bought because it is late so I was just like and I am gonna use gloves for this because it, it gets really greasy and you know uh... hey Shivani how are you Shivani you might like this just a chicken salad with a tuna melt tonight for dinner uh, lunch food for dinner that's okay sometimes we have breakfast food for dinner too Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So I literally like got rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. So I'm just going to shred it up in this uh, in my bowl right here. Show you, show you guys that. Actually, here's my chicken. Here's my bowl. I'm just gonna. Well, I want to make sure you guys see what I'm doing. So here we go. Hey, Rochelle, how are you? So chicken salad, Rochelle. Really easy. You could buy this or you could make it. I like making it because it's you know. It's, it's, you could, I actually usually make my own chicken too. Like I'll do the chicken uh, with the bone in the breast and then I'll just, you know, season it up, do it. But I didn't have time to do this, so I just figured it out. Like why not just get a rotisserie chicken and do that? Um, some days are like that, right? For some of us, so. And just, you know, you definitely want to take all the, uh, the bone away, of course, right? You just want to take, and just like literally shred in it to bite size. Uh, you can cut this. I just find that it's I probably cut the breast up It's just probably easier just to do do it with gloves. Just you know It'll be easier like this and I'll just mix it up once I'm done uh, You should put in your oh Yeah, I should um, Yeah, it's right behind me too, but I just like it a little chunkier um you know, just a little chunkier uh, than the kitchen. I'm sure I can pulse it. Hey Mona, how are you? Um, I'm sure, hey Baba. So, um, sorry I was on a phone call and I didn't get to call you back, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to start dinner. So, I could pulse it, yeah, you're right, but um, this is like easy too, not a big deal. Gives me a little more time to hang with you guys too. So that's always, you know, that's always good. So, and I'm not squinting because Finally, I got um, my glasses on. So usually I'm like this. Now I can see bigger. <laughs> I can see bigger. <laughs> so what are you guys up to? What are you making for dinner tonight? It's Thursday. Um, I made something heavy yesterday. Well, uh, duck curry. So I just wanted to keep it like simple tonight. Um, so we could just have, you know, something good, but something simple. And something quick, of course. Because tomorrow is another day of let's figure it out. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Baba has them and I'm like, I need them. I need to see better. And I'm like squinting. Usually I'm telling some people like, I can't see. I'm usually squinting to see what it says. So this is, you know, this is what it looks like right now. I'm actually going to just put that aside. Put this aside. And I've just got the breast here. So I'm just going to just cut the breast up. Like this will be easier just to cut this up. And like I said, you'll just do bite size, right? Like whatever works for you, but you know, you just want bite size if you're making a salad, like anything else. So easy to eat when it's bite size. Thanks, Anissa. I appreciate that. So take all this and you'll see how simple this is. And the best part about this, whatever I'm not going to finish, not like I don't have the curry. Um, in the refrigerator, but whatever I'm not going to finish tonight for dinner. Um, hey, Andrea, I'm sorry, girl, I didn't get to text you. <laughs> Just one of those days. Um, whatever I... Oh, thank you. Usually I'm blinded from reading my comments, but not anymore. I, I got it down packed. I got my, got my stuff on so I could see. Um, this, yeah, so whatever you have, like, whatever we 
have left over, we'll just have it for lunch tomorrow if there's extra, that's all. Thank you so much, Andrea. I appreciate that. So, here we go. There we go. And this is my chicken. Oh, you did? <laughs> but I need proper cocktail. Let me tell you right now, I didn't have time, so. Sorry to disappoint, but tomorrow is Friday, so hold on, I gotta gotta get over here with you guys really quick. I hate leaving the camera, right? So I've learned to like, I still gotta wash my hands even though I had uh, gloves on. Throw this out, hold on. Yeah, chicken salad, it's, uh, it's really, really, really good. Um, Aw, oh, thank you so much, Mona. I appreciate that. Yeah, just chicken salad and a tuna melt with some country uh, country bread. I happen to love um, tuna, so I just figured like a, a lunch dish, you know, for dinner tonight. So that'll work out good. Show you guys what's going on back over here. Get a good angle going on. Maybe I shouldn't have moved there. I want to make sure. I feel like the lighting is definitely better on this side. When I, I look back at some of the videos, it's usually... It's usually um, the other side doesn't look as, as great. So I'm just going to wipe this up really quick. So here, here's that. Listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, Andrea, I got to talk to you about something. So I'm going to actually call you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give you a buzz tomorrow. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to add in this bowl, right? Um, hold on. So a little bit of salt right you just want a little bit this stuff is seasoned already you just want a little extra just a little salt a little bit of uh, black pepper i'm just re-seasoning the uh yeah <laughs> i'm just re-seasoning yeah andrea i hear you re-season the um <clears throat> excuse me the chicken and I've got some um, some Franks. I'm just gonna put, you can minus the hot sauce if you don't want any. Chinese people like hot sauce, even though I don't like that much spicy, but I, I like it, it works. Oh, thank you, yeah, this, this time, I've got the whole set, right? So when I moved here, that's what I had, and I still have it, so. And I have some mayo. Um, you could use light mayo, I just have regular mayo, so I'm just gonna add my mayo to it. And this is gonna coat it up, right? And now let me show you what I'm adding to it. This is gonna make the whole thing like just pop, right? So I've got celery, two celery stock. You definitely wanna do this uh, fine chop because you don't want chunks of celery inside inside of your, uh, let me see if I could do fancy chopping. Yeah, let's see. It could work a little bit. <laughs> Nothing like a, a sharp knife, right? That always works the, the best. So my celery, I'm going to dump it in my chicken salad. There we go. And I'm gonna do two stocks of this. Just fine chopped in two stocks. So here we go. There we go. And just chop. Let's just keep going at this and then I definitely want to just keep it green. I don't want to add any other color to it. Kind of like a green and white, you know? Great thing for summer as well. Um, so here we go. So that's what that's looking like so far. I won't mix anything. Uh, okay, I can't, I'm not sure of your first name. Um, is, I know your last name is saying hi, good night. <laughs> um, and then I've got green grapes. Yes, I'm putting green grapes because you want a little bit of tang and a little bit of uh, sweet in this. And the green grape just brings out like, switch my knife, bring, it's out like a really good flavor in this, right? So you just want to chop this up just a little fine as well. And you'll see how, and you could eat this warm. You could eat it, you know, you could leave it in a refrigerator, leave it cold. Hi, Sabrina, how are you? <laughs> how are you, doll? So, there we go. If I didn't say hello to everyone, hello everyone. Um, I see all of you have been supporting uh, our um, 
One Guyana Food Festival page. Thank you so much for liking it. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for everything that's been going on with that. It's been so great and it's only been a few days. I can't even tell you. Um, we're all very, very happy. The entire team is very happy. And of course, a big shout out to the guys who put it together, right? So that was super happy to be a part of that. So just keep adding, I'm adding great. Uh, <laughs> I know, um, so cooking lessons, yeah, you know what, it's just, I feel like some people like visuals, like, I, like it's great to write recipes, right? Like, I do send instructions, I don't do recipes. Some people do, like, ask me for, I just send, like, oh, this is how I made it, this is what I did, and blah, blah, blah. Um, I should start writing some of this stuff down, I just feel like I, whatever I feel like eating, or whatever I feel like, like, having, that's, I just kind of, like, think about things I like, think about things you like to eat like you know I like green grapes I'm putting it in my chicken salad kind of like that's how it works you know and I like to experiment with flavors that's just you know so you've got to think about your taste and you know what you like but um whatever works for you but if you like to try anything I make I love it I love hearing about it I love getting pictures I love getting comments I got this amazing you know I've been getting amazing things about um like someone made um the kalangji for their dad you know, and they've had had that in many, many years. That was really <clears throat> nice to have. So, hey, cuz, good night. Um, so, yeah, hey, Sunel, good night. So that was really nice. So I love hearing stories like that, right? Like that makes me, that makes all of it like so worth worthwhile. I'm gonna grab a paper towel. So sorry about that. Turn this back here. Okay, so. This is what it's looking like so far. So putting that up. And then I've got here um, some fresh tarragon. So this is what, hey Pri, how are you? Um, this is what's going to bring out the, you know, flavor. It's got like a, um, like a peppermint flavor tarragon. So you just wanna chop this up fine. You don't wanna, uh, it's, it's a strong herb, so you don't wanna overdo it with it. So just fine, chop it and stick it in there. I'm almost ready to go there, if it's okay. Yeah? So, hold on. So I've got my tarragon, and I'm just gonna throw some in there. Tarragon's kinda hard to find. Um, oh, thank you so much, Mona, I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So here we go. So that's what this is looking like. Just grab a spoon and just mix. I mean, I could mix it in a bigger bowl and then transfer it back here, but it's okay. I have less dishes to do after this. So you could add more mayo, less mayo, doesn't matter. You know, whatever you want. Just a sandwich with a chicken salad, that's all. That's all it is. I hope you guys try this. Super, I'm sure you see how, like I said, it's like literally like a soccer mom dinner night. Like everything is almost pre-made pre and just putting it together how you like it. So I'm sure everyone has nights like these. So. There we go. I'm just, you just really have to mix this well. You can keep your gloves on, get another glove, keep mixing, doesn't matter. And then of course, like clean my bowl after, clean it around. Just take this, just wipe it around a little. Um, and that's it. Like, literally, um, that's it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Aunt. I appreciate that a million. Um, and thanks to you for kicking off this One Guyana Food Festival. If it wasn't for you, this would not all be possible. We're also the entire team. Um, we spoke to Mona yesterday. We're also grateful for you and um, your thoughts and your inspiration and your amazing ideas. So thank you for that.
really appreciate that, Anthony. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't even know I did until now. <laughs> so, and there we go. So here's my chicken salad. So that's that. So I'm actually going to wash up and get this other stuff going on. I'll show you guys what's going on with this. I'm just going to get washed up. Hey, Ned. How are you? Hi, David. Thanks for watching. I can see so much better. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> like, I'm not even playing. Like, I can literally see so much better. So, hold on. Uh... Oh, thanks, Mona. So let me show you what I've got going on here, right? Um, I have country bread. Let me just move this over a little. So I have tuna. Like, you could just do... Oh, No, it's it's you. We're, we're happy to be right behind you, Anthony. And to, be, uh, to have your support has been uh, tremendous. So thank you for that. My videos wouldn't have been anywhere they are if it wasn't for you sharing them. So thanks, thanks for that. So I'm going to show you guys what I did with my tuna fish, right? I could have made it on, but I just, just did it before. It was so easy. So just regular tuna. Like tuna fish from the can. Um, hi, guy, hi, Auntie Gayatri. And I just added some celery, a little bit of mayo again and um, salt and pepper and uh, just that's about it and a little bit of celery there you go that's it so I just mixed it up and you leave the water you leave some water in the tuna right you don't want to take the water out you definitely want to leave it leave it on there so I've got that going on and let me show you what else I got hold on I wonder if I could turn the camera out like this so you can see what's going on I better not drop it because knowing me it'll just like you see that so I've got the country bread I've got the butter and I've got the monster cheese, right? So, so I'm gonna make a tuna melt. I love to, and I got a cast iron pan. So I have, I gotta tell you guys about this pan right now. Usually I have um, the grill pan and I actually did stuff on that earlier. Hi, Chalisa. Hi. Oh my God, that? Chalisa's getting stuff. And um, the cast iron, like I grilled chicken breast on that and I was like, I was looking for a new one. So I actually got another um, cast iron pan. You could bake bread in it. You can make tuna melts in it. It's heavy. I'll show it to you right now. Like, this is it. Super heavy. So you could literally bake in it. You could do anything in it. Everything works in it. Like, it's not even, you know, no joke. So anyway, I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to butter everything up and show you guys what this is like. Hold on. Give me one second. So, ah, I feel like the camera doesn't show that much here, but I needed to like show like that much. Hold on one second. I just got to check my pan. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just butter up two breads and I happen to like this, right? So just two slices of bread. I'll put tuna on it. Yeah, they are the best and they're, they're soft, right? Cause they're fresh. Hold on. Let me grab a knife. I gotta grab a butter knife. Can you just go five? No, for five minutes. Five. Hold on one second. So I've got, and you want the butter to be at room temperature, right? So I'm just gonna butter this up right now. And you're gonna put the butter side down so it'll like just go on the grill pan. stick it on there hold on and then I'm gonna get the other side and you just want to do one side of this right yeah these are the best Andrea they're really really good so there we go put that on there I'm gonna show you guys what that's like and I'll just probably do I'll do another one after so hold on let me just take this over <laughs> heavy heavy Sorry, I just had to get the rest of my stuff. So I've got my tuna, and this is it right here. And I've got melty cheese, monster cheese. 
like no joke with the cheese. You could do mozzarella. I don't, I didn't want to do mozzarella. I wanted to do monster cheese. So this is what this is looking like right now. So it's toasted up, right? So you want it to toast up nicely and just turn this up on high right now. So once it goes on high, um, I'm just gonna put tuna on it. I'm going to put, you can put, um, you can put whatever you want on it. I'm just gonna put tuna on it. I'm gonna put the monster cheese on it. And hey, Matthew, how are you? And then I'm going to just let it, you know, go. It's gonna be really, really, really good. So let me turn the camera in this way so you'll see what's going on with this right now. Okay, and I've got my spatula right here. So, hold on one second. Let me just grab another plate because I'll probably need to just, I can just probably plate it up in here. Plate it up on my platter, like not even a big deal. Matthew, I see you cooking up a storm. Amazing, I love all the stuff you're making. It's um, really, really nice. You probably wanna press it down a little so it like you hear that sizzle, but you don't wanna burn it, right? Oh, it's not burning. Good. <laughs> and you could even do this like on the grill pan if you want like grill marks on it. You can do it on, hold on, let me see if that's better. Yeah, you could do grill, you could do grill marks on this as well. So I'm actually going to flip mine now. Turn it around. And I'm literally like adding the tuna in the pan, right? Like on the bread, it's already gonna spread that on I mean literally this is like a lunch meal but it's what I felt like eating today it, it is one of my favorites I was talking to one of my friends and they were talking about pastrami sandwiches and I was like hmm I've never had that but I know in New York we have like the best pastrami ever but I was like I'll take a tuna melt instead please so so I'm going to just and I'm gonna slap two monster cheese, and they come with paper in the middle. We'll keep them uh, good, so. Oh, and it's brown in the other side. So there we go. Yeah, definitely, ooh, hot. So, and you'll see, I forgot this is hot too. Just flip it a little, let me get a pot holder, sorry. I'm just gonna make one up and show you guys uh, what's going on with it, but you can definitely press it now. Like, so everything kind of like melts together. And I'm gonna put this back here because I'm gonna put some chicken salad in my plate while this is going, and then I'll cut this up and show you guys. Ah, I'm like, I, I'm holding it with a pot holder and all because I don't want to get burnt. I'm like so in about getting burnt, right? Either oil pitch it on me or me getting burnt. It's, it's either either or. So this stuff is really good. It goes in the oven. You can bake bread in it. You can make, um, you know, I'll be making like a chicken dip in it. You can do like everything in this. It's like so amazing. So I was like waiting to uh, get another one. So in my grill pan, I definitely need a new one. It's, it's like going like there's no tomorrow. So I'm actually going to actually just take this. It looks like it's pretty melted. It's melting up nicely. I'm gonna take it off and I'm actually going to just bring you guys back here. Put this here and I've got my chicken salad. Hold on. Okay, that should be good. Hold on. And I'm just gonna bring it over and cut it up. Talk about a super simple, easy dinner tonight. Yeah, this is definitely it. So here's my chicken salad. I'm just gonna take a little bit, like to taste it up and show you guys. And then I'm going to cut my uh, sandwich. So here we go. So that's what this is looking like, right? really really good stuff one of my favorites so here's my plate literally that that's my dinner plate so I'm gonna grab a fork 
and tell you guys what's going on with this. I want to try my chicken salad first. Mm. <laughs> Love it. So good. Rotisserie chicken to die for. Tarragon. It's got like a really good flavor to it. Um, it's like a peppermint kind of flavor, so it brings it out. And the grape and celery, just everything like pops in your mouth. No joke. And what better to go with it than, you know, like a nice, hold on. Hold on, let me grab this. Sorry, there we go. Okay, there we go. So, literally, I want to like get closer so I can like stuff my face in front of you guys to show you what this is like. That's what I brought the camera. I'm like, should I? Should I? I should. Oh, thank you, Mona. Mona, what an inspiration you are as well. So great to talk to you. So great to be on this team with you. Um, really, really appreciate that. I'm making you hungry. <laughs> Make it, girl, because this is going to be my lunch tomorrow, too. So, literally, this is my big mouth. I'm literally going to just eat this in front of you guys, right? This is like, hmm, let me bring the camera closer. I just want good lighting. There we go. Mm. I put too much in my mouth. <laughs> mm. So good. The country bread and it being like just toasted a little bit and the monster cheese which is like super stretchy of course. Like melty, right? And the tuna is warm now. No joke. You can't go wrong with this. Literally soccer mom night food. So, uh... <laughs> Anyway, I'm actually out of here, guys, already. Believe it or not, I love making fast, quick meals with you guys and chilling just for a few. And I'm glad I could see everyone better that now I don't want to just look nice and without my glasses. I want to I want to be able to see you guys. <laughs> Usually I don't wear it because I can't see. I'm like, I need I need to see. So it was the comments were definitely, I feel like I was even uh, responding more because I could see better. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for supporting Prius Kitchen. Please uh, like or follow my page. Thanks for watching. Um, please, you know, check out uh, One Guy on a Food Festival and support us. It's been amazing. So happy to be a part of that journey with Anthony Snow um, and everyone else on that team. Um, and happy Thursday. Sorry, I didn't make it a thirsty Thursday, Andrea. <laughs> Maybe Friday will be better. Um, I will be cooking for the next couple of days. Uh, Saturday, my cousin's having something here. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on. So hopefully you guys will tune in, hang out, and chill with me. Um, have a great evening. Always keep good vibes going. And thanks for uh, cooking with Priya and Priya's Kitchen. Have a great